Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Hey guys and welcome to a another video. This video is one that I've been waiting to do for so long and all my things have just been gathering dust in one corner. Over the past few months I have accumulated a lot of makeup and beauty products. I'm really excited to, be, to use these products and I've been wanting to like start using them. I have already started a few so you will get some um, feedback on those particular items and I have made some repurchases so you'll see those also. Without further ado we'll get into it and it has just started snowing again outside and it is like what? April? And it's snowing. That is snowing. It's like snowy sleet. Snowy sleet. Okay. First thing I'm going to start off is with beauty products and most of these beauty products are by one person and that is the lovely Zoella. As maybe all of you, maybe some of you, I don't know how many of you will know, but some of Zoe's products will be going or will be heading out of the shops and you won't be able to purchase them anymore. These are mainly the Tutti Frutti scent range I think. They are actually still in the shops but they're slowly starting to decrease the um, price of them and decrease the stock of them. I mean it's it's getting to the point where I'm just like oh, I wish I could just have like so much money and just purchase the whole range and again and again and again. So the repurchases that I've bought is the Let It Spritz by Zoe. It is a very summery spring scent in my opinion and I absolutely, it is my favourite scent out of all her arranges. I do love the original scent, don't get me wrong. Um, I didn't used to but I, yeah. The next thing is my favourite thing from the range and I could not let this range go without me repurchasing another tube bottle of it and that is the Handy Cream Softening Body Lotion and this stuff is amazing. Uh, I just... Uh, I can't tell you how much love I have for this. You have to get this. It is amazing. You have to get this. I cannot praise this enough. It's amazing during the summer, especially when it's hot and you just want something to cool you down. The next thing I've never actually bought before, I have tested it out in store and I wasn't so keen on it. This is what made me not so keen on the scent. But I love the hand cream and I love the diffuser. That is amazing. The scent of that diffuser is incredible. So the product that I have bought from her range is the Creamy Madly Dreamy Body Lotion. I haven't yet tried this, I will let you know how I get on with it. The next thing isn't Zoella related, this is a um, moisturising cream that I absolutely adore. I put it on every day and I tell so many people about it that it is one moisturiser that I cannot ever get rid of. That is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin Replenishing Rich Moisturiser. It is amazing and this is my other bottle which is about gone. There's not much left and yeah it's just addictive. MAC. I have not been to MAC in a long time and I was like right I need I need to get something from MAC and the main thing I actually needed was a new powder and I've been hunting down for a really good powder that can replace my Maybelline one and this has lasted me so long and I've gone through about over over 20 of these um, since I since they ever came out oh, and they're just so nice and there's still there's still some left in my pan and I am constantly using this as my like everyday one. I bought the MAC, what is this? The MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation and I got it in the number 10, so NW10. That's what best suits my skin. I may not look it on this camera but I am very pale. Um, not as pale as my best friend though. So <laughs> I've heard so many great things about this and I was like right I, I need a powder that's gonna you know match my skin tone and I need one that's really nice and I thought you know what why don't you just get the powder that matches your MAC foundation. Like I have the number 10 MAC foundation um, in Studio Fix so why not get the powder that like you know matches it. So that's what I did and seriously like it's so nice. I have been using this. I have been loving this to death. And yeah, so yeah, 
absolutely love that. So in the January sales, yes, that's how long this bag has been in my room. It's collected so much dust, but they had, Super Jug had the That Party Feeling sales going on and you get this free bag when you bought over a certain amount of products, I think. I can't exactly remember. As you can see, it is full. It's, it's There's loads in here. So in my lucky bag, shall we say. I, cannot, I don't even know what is actually in here. The first thing I've just picked out is another set of my beloved Zoe's um, two balmy lip balms. I can actually remember, I saw these on sale and there was like two or three left and I was like, I need to repurchase this because they're, all, they're from the Christmas range and as soon as they go out I'm never going to be able to get them again. They are the best lip balms I have ever tried and I completely recommend them. The consistency of this is very different from her first lip balm and I much prefer these. I love the packaging to these and I just highly 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 rate these. They're so amazing and lovely and just totally worth the money so yes got those okay so the next thing i picked out is rimmel's exaggerate eyeliner and this is my favorite liquid eyeliner i have it on today literally i absolutely love this eyeliner i haven't tried the felt tip um eyeliners i'm scared to are they any good let me know because i will try them if there are if you guys tell me that they are have like good re reviews etc but no, I absolutely love this. It's pointy tip. There's a lot of mixture in it in here and it lasts a long, long time for me anyway. Oh my gosh, I just completely forgot I have this. Like, I am so, so, so excited to try this. This is Sleek's Blush by 3 palette. This is in the shade Sugar, but I love the look of this, like, blush palette. Oh my gosh, that... Okay, so... You have like a warm coral um, shade here and that is very similar to the um, blush powder that I got in one of my glossy boxes. That is very similar actually. Um, so I'm happy about that because once that's run out I can use this. Um, this shade in the middle looks stunning. It's kind of like a, um, a brown, a brown purple shade with um, gold shimmer run, running through it it looks stunning and i cannot wait to try that and then this is a very um this is like a plum kind of color but like more raspberry toned yeah so it's got it's got kind of a reds and a deep pinks in there as well um but i am so excited to try this oh, and i love the smell of new palettes i don't know why i'm so happy and excited to use this and it's so clean like all my sleek palettes are like really like dusty or like you know they're a bit mucky can't grab anything everything's in bubble wrap or some of some of this stuff's in bubble wrap okay the next thing i have maybelline's new york lash sensational lash mortifying mascara this i've been raving about this for the past two three months it is amazing i've never dared to go on out of my comfort zone with mascaras I've been using the same Maybelline mascara for three years, not exactly the same tube, but you know, repurchasing it. I was like, no, I want to try something new. And I heard so many great reviews about this and I was like, what's with the hype about this one? From what I've heard, it's supposed to be a dupe for Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara. And I have tried Roll the Roller Lash Mascara and I have to say, it is pretty much the same. Maybe the consistency in this is a lot better, but the Roller Lash is... I think maybe cut I don't know I'm gonna have to like retry them both but I absolutely love this this is way much cheaper it is like five pounds or seven pounds I believe whereas the benefit mascara is around about 20 um 19 pounds ish 18 19 something like that so for the half the price you're getting a great mascara and it does exactly what it says on the tin I think I have three of these I'm gonna bring them all out at the same time because there's no point where's the other one where are you? I recently found these little babies out. <laughs> I saw them in my super jug and then my super jug got redecorated so I couldn't find them and they, they didn't seem to stock them so I ordered them online. Um, and they are Revolution's Awesome Metals Foil Finish Eyeshadow. You can put these eyeshadows on dry or you can put them on wet but I really like the sound of these and they are the whole range is beautiful. The only one I don't have from the Superdrug range is the green one, but my friend Scarlett 
said she was going to give me her one because she doesn't use it or won't use it. So um, I'm dead happy about that. I'm going to have the full range. I believe when they first came out, they had like a berry toned foil um, eyeshadow, which they don't seem to sell anymore. I might try and hunt that one down. There is a black shade. I think they have their names on. Do they have a name? So this one's called Black Diamond. This one is called Pure Platinum. And then this one is called Rose Gold. So you can understand why I picked this one up. Next we have in the bag is Maybelline's New York The Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara. As soon as I saw this in... This was actually in my boots before it was in my super jug. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, if the previous mascara was amazing, then I'm going to try out their latest one. And this has been kind of like my work mascara. So when I go to work, I just pop this on. With these new Maybelline mascaras, I have come to love these kind of like rubber silicon um, brushes. The brushes on these are so so nice I much prefer it than the bristle brush now I'm addicted to these rubber brushes I absolutely love them they kind of like mix between these two mascaras but I think the lash sensation will just beat this by a little mile <laughs> so I don't know two things and these are my favorite high street concealer and I'm addicted. I bought two because my shade is never in stock. It always goes out of stock when I need it the most. So as soon as I saw them that they were on offer and they weren't out of stock, I was like, yes. And they just they just last for so so long. And I run my mascara, I mean mascara, I run my concealer right down to when there's like nothing left. When then practically nearly empty, I use these for my spots to cover up my spots but the tip is like so dry and there's like not much left at all and you'll notice that the name is completely wiped off including the label, like, there's nothing on the label, it just looks like a dead concealer <laughs> yeah this is the one I'm using in a minute and it's where the writing is starting to fade and the label's like faded um, but the best thing to do about these is shake them up when you're running out because you will get some product at the end which falls onto your brush so yeah absolutely love that concealer. The next thing I have here is the Rimmel London Scandalised um, Eye Crayon in Witness White. I really wanted this for highlighting and yeah I cannot wait to use that. I haven't tried this yet but I am excited. I love their other... Ooh. I am excited. I love their other... Ooh. My glasses. I love their other crayons and I'm excited to use this one because I think this will just be as good. This is the Sleeks Highlighting Palette in Solstice. I've been wanting a highlighting palette for a while because my highlighter in my contour kit has started to hit pan. Oh my goodness. And have you seen the packaging on this? Look at this packaging. Like, I can tell the difference between my blush palette and my highlighting palette now because they're a different packaging. I've been waiting for one that would suit my skin tone and kind of like my face. So I tested this out and I was like, I need to buy this. What I do know about this is that the clasp is not clip, it's magnetic. They have upgraded their palettes, guys. And they have names. We have Ecliptic, Hemisphere, Subsolar, and Equinox? Equinox? Equin? Equin? I have no idea. I cannot read. I think they just look stunning. Like, oh. This is the last thing in my bag. But I ordered this offline because they... Like had it really cheap. I believe it was like ten pounds or nine. And this is Revlon's makeup set. They just got a load of makeup together, and I was just like, I love, I love everything in this. I need, I need this. So for ten pounds, I was like, why not? Like, yeah, why not? So the first thing is the um, number thirty um, bronze glow highlighting palette. Um, so. Obviously you can use this as like a bronzer or, you know, highlighting um, your, your face. Duh. Normally I believe this would be £10. So this whole thing was like the price of this. I already have the rose one of this. So it's like a rose glow. Um, but yeah, that is the bronze glow. The next thing in here is the Revlon um, nail polish in 570 and it's called Vixen. Very vampy shade. It's like a burgundy shade. It's a very, you know my love for burgundy. I've had that for quite some time now. But I'm onto greys. I'm onto grey nail polishes at the minute. I absolutely love my greys. The next thing in this is a matte lip pencil in the shade 225 Sultry. That sounds like 
really vampy slash sassy. Also, I received or got a black da -da 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 -da, a black pencil, Revlon Colour Stay Eyeliner um, in black. I don't believe this has a name. I can't find the name if it does. But that's just in the black, and that came with the whole range. So you got a whole range there that you can just play with and make great makeup. So that's all of the things that I bought from Superjug. The next thing I have are two perfumes and these were from Body Shop and oh my gosh they smell divine. There was a third um, perfume and it was an apple but I already have a couple of apple ones and these I believe are... Oh here we go. So this one is a Frosted Cranberry. Oh, I love cranberry. It's, I love the smell of this and it has a shimmer in it. So when you spray it, it, you have a scent and then it has a shimmer in it as well. So I was just like, yes, I need this. Um, they were on offer and it was two for something. And when you swirl it, it looks like, look at that. It looks like, it's got this marbly effect. Um, same with this, if you shake it. This one is frosted plum. So the other one must be frosted apple. Um, but they smell heavenly. I couldn't decide between the two so I had to get two. I have this massive box of makeup which I've put all into one because I had so many boxes everywhere that I needed to just to dense it down. So in here I bought a fair few things and I literally have no room left. So the first thing is a new makeup brand that I haven't tried before and I really wanted to try. They had a huge sale on and that was the brand Siat. They are known for their nail polishes and I really loved the look of these eyeshadow pots. And they are again precious metal eyeshadows. They are they are in powder form. If I just get this one out and I can show you. Oh it comes with the little brush. How cute. Get this pot and this is in the shade Collins Avenue. It is kind of like a rosy gold and I, I, I don't know what to say about it apart from that I haven't used it yet and I'm so excited to use them. The shades I have in those, Collin Avenue, Collins Avenue, Washington Avenue, Lincoln Road and Ocean Avenue and I'm just so excited to use these. They are like, they're so glittery and I really wanted a high pigment glitter kind of gold um, eyeshadows so I'm fully stocked up on my gold eyeshadows. I went and bought myself some more brushes from Zoeva but the first brush is the lip contour brush and it is a two piece so it's perfect for traveling so it comes like this and you pop it out and you can stick it like that and there's your lip brush Perfect because then like your lipstick doesn't go everywhere in your bag and you don't have a disaster. The next brush is the Lux Precise Shader. I really wanted this brush for like an like under the eye so I can create that line. I do do that with my liner brush but I wanted something especially in the inner corner. So I thought it was perfect for that. This is the 238 Lux Precise Shader. So this is the Lux Crease 228 comes in this very nice cream handle with the rose gold um, tip and oh I just I love this. This is going to be like perfect for blending when you're doing your eyeshadow and you're mixing shades you get that fine line that you don't want so this is just basically to blend it and smooth it out. The next brush I have here is the 230 Lux Pencil Brush. I have been craving this brush for so so long. I mean look how cute it is. This is for that kind of shape to your eyeshadow rather than um, like a blending of the eyeshadow. So it's to create a shape to your eyeshadow and to get into that, that inner, inner crease. Along with those brushes, I went and got myself a palette, one from the Nude Spectrum range. This packaging is completely different to their original palette packaging, but it has this gorgeous rainbow kind of prism center line with rose gold font. And the packaging is kind of like NARS. So if you've ever felt the NARS packaging, it feels exactly like that. So it's like a matte. I really needed a full-on good nude um, palette. And this is definitely that. So you have a black. Most of the palettes do have a black in it of the Zoeva range. 
you have the peaches and golds down here going into kind of the warmer tones where the browns and the deeper um, metallic metals come in. I'm excited to use this whole palette. I've been waiting to use this palette. I really love this highlighting shade down here because in the highlighters that are in my palette, my other Zoe Zoeva palettes, are not exactly a great highlighter for under the eyebrow but they're perfect for blending. The only thing that I kind of would add to these palettes is probably a mirror, but that's the only thing. Um, but yeah, I'm like really, really excited to use that. <sighs> so the snow stopped. <laughs> so I got the, I found Nemo and berry picking for Christmas from my very good friend, Bethan. And I fell in love with these. These are amazing. I found Nemo I wore to work as soon as I got it and as soon as I went back to work and I loved it. It was a very nice neutral shade and perfect for an everyday look. Berry picking I also wore to work when I had more of a berry eye or like gold eye and it was really nice. So I got addicted to these so you can imagine what I went and did. I went and got three more. I have yet to try the Aphrodite um, red but I will try it soon. But the two I have to mention are these Daydream and Just Peachy and these are perfect. I've been wearing these non-stop. This is very much kind of like a nude lip and then this one has like a hint of coral to it and pink so it's kind of like a brighter neutral. So I just absolutely love these. I, I don't know what put me off for so long in not getting into Tanya's things but I am addicted. You may already know. I got Duvet Day nail polish by Tanya Blair from my friend Katie and because I love Duvet Day so much <laughs> I've got like half the range <laughs> more so the first one I'm going to show you is the one I'm wearing right now which is actually slowly chipping away and I want to do my nails straight after this video but this one is Penguin Chick absolutely love this as much as I love Duvet Day and the one I'm going to put on next is Frosting Cupcakes it is a beautiful pale and neutral pink and they, these are all when I bought them, they were all three for two, so you can see where I want. I went and bought the red, not the red Riding Hood, it's called Riding Hood, New York Night. It was actually quite hard to choose between those two, so I just ended up buying both of them. The Little Duck, it's such a cute mint shade, and I cannot wait to wear that one. Same with this one, this one's called Fairy Godmother, it's a lilac, peaches and cream, and again, I cannot wait to wear that one. In fact, it's quite quite hard to choose between those two which one to wear, but I think I'm going to go with frosting cupcakes. I believe I have two more things in this box. Yes, I do. We're getting there, guys. We're nearly there. So, I've been wanting these guys for so, so long. This is actually two of the items that I really wanted from her range, Tony Bear's range. And they were just forever out of stock until the like the other day when I checked the web when I checked it feel unique and they had them back in stock and I was like I need them. I bought the Galaxy Eye Palette and the Hollywood Eye Palette. I mean I love the names as well. Like you have Snowflake, Moonlight, Stormy Sky, and Starry Night. So I, I definitely a Galaxy palette. We have nude delight gold coin enchantment and bookworm i love the name of bookworm <laughs> like i am a bookworm i love books and i love makeup so that is a perfect eye palette i am still not sure whether to buy the other third palette because i already have a lot of nude shades now <sighs> we have one more thing just one more and i cannot believe i finally managed to track one of these down i didn't manage to get it at christmas because they were always out of stock or i didn't have enough money and i didn't really want to pay 25 pounds for it but it is the tanya burr deck the halls beauty calendar and yes i haven't opened them this door is trying to open itself though should we do that now should we just do that now i don't know i don't know whether i want to open it no i need to take pictures of it first so you will see the products, if you follow my Instagram you'll see them on there. I kind of already know what's all in here anyway, but I just really wanted some of the things that were in here because they're only limited edition to this. So yeah, that is it. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I will see you guys next video. I love you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!
love this and I don't want to let it ever go, ever, 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 but it will one day. I loved the other pencils. I need to sharpen them actually. Oh crap. Uh, there we go. Oh my gosh, everything's falling on the floor. Blah de blah 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 blah. I can put all this away now. Like I don't have to get it out again. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go paint my nails.